Hey everyone, Tap Dog here, and today I wanted to talk about something a little bit more serious, and it's something that um, Mr. Andersam actually made a video about years ago, but with the new game, and obviously a lot of people searching for this game and looking it up online, there's going to be other people who are doing things that aren't necessarily um, allowed in the game, and so I just wanted to kind of be up front, talk about it, what happens when you cheat, and uh, what happens when you try to do exploits in this game. So um, while I'm doing that, since it's kind of a boring topic, I'm also going to be just playing my arena turns. The uh, season just ended, so most of the battles are going to be super easy, but I figured you'd probably want something on the screen rather than just me um, talking about all this. So with that being said, let's jump into things. So, there's a couple different ways that this game can be, um, unfortunately cheated, or, um, in other ways, exploited, and I'm, I personally will never tell you guys the ways to do it, um, and you'll understand why as we go through all this information, but there are ways for you to get, um, unlimited gold, unlimited gems, um, on the heroic side of things, you'd be able to get unlimited skulls, and um, on the arena side of things, there's ways to get uh, unlimited amounts of dark orbs. Now, all the things I just showed you, these are the ones that I've earned over time. I don't really have anything else to earn in the armory right now, and I don't really want to buy rare boosters, so I have almost 12, 11 and a half thousand um, dark orbs, and they're just sitting there waiting for an update, hopefully. My... Heroic Skulls, I've got 640. I use those every time I get a 1,000. So uh, in, in another week from now, when the uh, Heroic starts again, I'll hopefully get another 400, and I'll be able to buy another Onyx card. But um, on the last two items I was talking about, on gold and on diamonds, I buy my diamonds. Uh, normally when there's a gem sale, I will buy the gems um, at that point, but I, I'll buy 50 bucks worth at a time. And uh, I don't really have too many cards I need to purchase currently, so they kind of just sit there until there's a pack that makes sense for me to, to use to upgrade. And then I don't really have very many cards left to upgrade, so that's why I've got over 300,000 gold there, just sitting there waiting for if I do need a card to upgrade, I'll use it. But uh, for most of you guys, you probably have very different looking totals for these things. Maybe next to nothing for your gold, next to nothing for your gems, and uh, pretty much the same for those other two. But um, you might be saying, I really need these things, right? Because you, you might need them. The other thing that you can also use for cheats is to get unlimited dust. I've got about 109 right now, probably more if I did recycling, but um, I've got about 109 right now. Uh, and then the other thing that is available as well is cheats to get unlimited energy. I've got about 10 right now. And then on my arena side, I've got about 10 as well. I've got nine right now. So... Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can cheat in this game, and, and you can look them up. It's not hard to find the, the people who are offering how to do these cheats. But I highly recommend you don't do it for a number of reasons. One, and in my mind, this is kind of the most important thing, it ruins the game. Once you have everything unlocked, once you can do everything in the game, there's what is your motivation for playing? There's not one, right? So it, it ruins the whole aspect of the challenge of a game. It's um, it's the equivalent to when I was a kid, I I loved playing Pokemon, right? And so I had a Game Shark on my Game Boy, and you could use that Game Shark to um, get unlimited Master Balls, right? That's the For those of you who don't play Pokemon, a Master Ball lets you catch a Pokemon 100% of the time. Doesn't matter what, um, what level the Pokemon is, how much health it has, you will instantly catch that Pokemon every single time you throw the Master Ball, as long as it's a wild Pokemon and not owned by another trainer. And so there was uh, cheats that you could use on a Game Shark to um, get unlimited Master Balls. And that sounds great, because then you don't have to worry about um, catching your legendary Pokemon, who would be very, very, very challenging to catch. And some of them would even run away. Uh, you know, back back in the day, they had the legendary dogs that you'd get one chance to battle them, and then they would just up and disappear. Um, so you would think that that would make it easier, and it does, but it also makes it a lot less fun because 
part of the appeal of Pokemon is trying to catch all of them. And if you can just on instantly do it without any type of hard work, the, the, the amount of fun that you have from it just goes away. Right? The, the whole point of the game, the, the appeal of the game goes away because you've taken out the challenging aspect of it. So in this game, by giving yourself unlimited amounts of all of the different uh, currencies, it really does um, ruin, ruin the game for you. Um, and so that's, that to me is the biggest reason why not to do it. It's not the most important reason not to do it. There's, there's a much, much more important reason not to try to cheat in this game. But to me, it, it defeats the whole purpose of why you play the game in the first place. Um, I know Chucky, he's in our discord, so I'm going to play him. He has some of the, the best, um, tools and items that he's created to help out other players in this game. So let's fight against Chucky here, Chucky Darwin. Um, now, the more important reason why you don't want to cheat in this game is because the developers of it, Monumental, not only can tell when someone is cheating in this game, it's, it's incredibly obvious, but they have parameters set up that will automatically flag your account. So you might be wondering, what does it mean to have your account flagged? Well, right now, I just earned stars, right? I just got six stars, and I'm currently rank 56. When your account gets flagged, you can't earn stars, which means you can't rank in the arena. You also are not able to get on the leaderboard for heroics. So I've got, this is the heroics from last week, and I ended up getting... Well, I don't think this is accurate because worldwide would probably be more accurate. Yeah. So I was in rank five out of uh, however many people play this um, this week in heroics. But I got 2485 of the heroic uh, tokens for the week. Right. That, that's not your actual uh, points. That's just the score. And then um, the, the secondary tiebreaker is your turns. So Spider had 14 turns less than me. So that's why he's there. And you can keep going down to see the people who had... Fewer turns all the way down to um, our lovely friend Jokovic, who's in first place by a, a pretty large margin there. But um, if you cheat, you don't earn any, which means you can't get any of the rewards, which means you can't get any heroic skulls or, or the Onyx final fragments. Um, so you really can't continue in the game. You can't progress getting... Um, free Onyx cards on this side, and in this area, you wouldn't be able to rank for the Armory, which means you wouldn't be able to buy health, wouldn't be able to buy any of the uh, abilities, um, and uh, really, you wouldn't really get to, to see how you actually are playing, because your account would be flagged for cheating. Um, so that's, that's if you use the cheats that affect your currency. But I mentioned that there's cheats that also affect your energy. And those cheats involve changing the time on your device. And that's the one I see most commonly posted about on YouTube. It's people who will tell you just, you know, change the time on your device and you'll get more energy. Or you might get more goblins or you might even be able to play a different event when it's not time for that event. And what they don't tell you is that that also does two things. First, it also flags your account, meaning that you would no longer be able to play in heroics or arena. But the more nefarious thing they don't tell you is it, com it completely gets rid of all of your goblins until you reach the day that you forwarded your time to. So if you just forwarded an extra day in advance to get the next day's goblin, whenever it becomes time for the goblin to appear, he won't appear that day because you've already fought him. You've already beat him for that day. If you forward in advance a week, you know, maybe you just were lazy and you pushed down to the next week on your calendar when you change the time, you will not see that goblin for a week because you've already fought that goblin, which means all the goblins before it have already been appeared. 
Now, if you're stupid and you changed your calendar to a year in advance or five years in advance, you will not be seeing that goblin until you reach the date that you changed your time to. There is one person that I know of who did that and they put their calendar five years in advance and they are still waiting three or so years later for a goblin to appear. There is nothing that Monumental can do if you do that. There is no way for them to change your clock, <laughs> get you back the lost time. I would recommend for most people, if you if you put your goblin, or you know, you change your time far enough in advance where you're, you're gonna be more than a month or two out and you just started the game, restart. Start a new fresh account. It's not worth it. <laughs> I'm serious. Um, now, Monumental is gracious. If you do make a mistake, maybe you, you listened to these people who told you to cheat, who told you to, to do one of these things. Monumental will be gracious in some respects, and they will review what exactly you've done. Now, if you went hog ham and gave yourself millions of coins, millions of dust, and millions of everything else, don't expect them to unban that account. Expect that you're going to have to restart. But if you uh, tried to change the time one time just to see what would happen and you got flagged for it, um, they're going to let you off with a warning and unflag your account. If you think, hey, that wasn't too bad, you know, maybe maybe they'll let me do it again. If you try to redo it again, you're, you're, you're not going to be so lucky. Uh, you might, you might, you might get a little bit of a grace and they'll tell you you can play the game again in a month. But more than likely, if your second strike there, you, uh, you probably are gone. So, don't cheat. Don't try to cheat. Because one, makes the game not fun. Two, makes it so you can't really play the game anymore, or at least compete in the game. And three, it uh, makes it so you can't ever play on that account ever again. So, those are just my little tips and tricks about why you shouldn't cheat. There's plenty of people that you can find online that tell you you can cheat. Anytime I find one of their videos, I try to write in the comments, hey, don't follow this. You're going to get your account flagged. You're going to get your account banned. And I hope at least one or two people who are watching that video look down in the comments and see that. I feel bad for the, you know, hundreds of people that view that account, think it's safe, and then they get blocked. I've heard from Monumental that they get quite a lot of requests every single day of people requesting to be unflagged. And sometimes they'll be nice and unflag you. If you're a repeat offender, won't be so lucky. So, anywho, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. It looks like I am now in 30th place. I will uh, play one more time here. This is the start of the season, so it's kind of a weird time of, of uh, battling because you jump up from rank to rank so much and then you drop down very quickly because everyone's got the same star rating. So it usually takes a week or two for the um, the ranks to get adjusted here. But uh, it's a good time to also uh, try to sneak your way into a higher bracket than normal, especially considering that next week is when tiebreaker's in the, de uh, in the shop. So if you've been wanting to get tiebreaker, try to sneak into Masters this week. It's the best time to try. Oh, look at that. Drop down from 30th to 27th. So that's where I'm at currently. Speaking of, we're talking about cheaters. Pretty sure he's still up there. I don't even know if I can get all the way up. Where are we at? Where are we at? Beast. Yeah, Beast here is a cheater. They've got... I'll show you how we, how we can tell this person's a cheater because it's very, very obvious. First off, they've got the 55 health. That doesn't necessarily mean you're a cheater. I want to make that clear. But it's the cards that they have that makes them a cheater. They have Onyx combo there, right? So that means they have at least two Onyx cards in their deck. Oh, I might actually lose here, and that's fine. That's fine. This is part of the point is just to, to show you their final form. So 
they're probably going to kill me right here. This, this is not a real battle anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But look at their final form they play. Oh, they did not play a final form. Huh. Who would have thought? Okay, well, I'm going to play my final form. Because why not? And I think I lost. Okay, I'm going to play one more time. Again, it's not a real battle, so that doesn't really matter. I just wish it wasn't showing up in Worldwide at the 80th spot. Gosh. This is so hard to do. Come on. Scroll. Scroll. It's uh, I have my phone plugged in, so that's why it's causing this issue. Okay. Let me see if he will play his final forms this time. So. Okay, this is a better hand to, to play this with anyway, so this is much, much better. I'll be able to last a little bit longer here. So, the 55 health is a little bit suspicious, because not too many players do have 55 health. But that's not the only red flag that we have with this account. Alright, I need a high defense. Do I have any high defense? 34, I think, is going to be my best option. Let's do it. Okay, they're using a level 5 sniper there, uh, the Onyx Final Form Sniper. Only Jokovic has that card. No one else in the game has that card. They also have every other level 5 Onyx Final Form in their deck. That's a clear red flag that they've cheated. They've gotten unlimited fragments to upgrade the cards. I, I'll show you mine, just to give you an example. I've been playing this game for... Almost 10 years now, since 2000, end, end of uh, 2013, beginning of 2014, somewhere in there is when I started playing this game. And here are my Onyx Final Form cards. I've got two that are level four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven that are level three, and one that's level two. I spend a whole lot of money on this game. I've gotten a lot of Onyx Fragments. I'm usually in the top of the arena, so I get a lot of the puzzle pieces. Don't have any level fives. Outside of Jokovic, I don't think I know a single person who has a level five Onyx Final Form that's in the top ten. Jokovic's the only one. He always gets first place, so he got a lot more of the fragment pieces than everyone else. He also did not pause for three years like I did when I lost my account. Um, but that's a giant red flag. So if you're trying to hack, please smart. <laughs> don't don't give us a red flag automatic suspicion there. I know it's stupid of me to say that because you'll try to be smarter on this, but the account gets banned. That, that account got banned earlier today, so it can't play anymore. It'll fall off the brackets pretty soon. But I just wanted to point that one out since that was an, an obvious cheating account. So, anywho, I think that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. I uh, It's it's nighttime now. <laughs> when I started this, it was daytime. I guess the, the sun went down in the last 15 minutes. But... Uh, if you do have any other questions about cheating, you can you can ask me about them in the in here. I won't tell you how to do it, but I'll, I'll tell you, email customer support if your account's flagged. They might unflag you, they might not. And don't cheat. All right, that's all.